Hey, what's up guys? Saifu here and today we'll be talking about my desk setup, my new desk setup. So if you want to see how my desk went from like this to like this. Then better stay tuned. So I decided to get an upgrade because I've had my previous setup for about 8 months now and I think it's about time for me to level it up. Oh, and med school is just around the corner. It's on August 9, so that's kind of close. That's insanely close. So yeah. So first, let's start with the curtains. I wanted to have black curtains and black out curtains. So I just got both, a black blackout curtain was really really good uh the one i had before was actually okay it just didn't really block out the light as much as i wanted it to and i have a soft box which i use for streaming and for youtube videos just like this so i wanted to have a controlled environment i had i wanted to have a controlled lighting and uh, yeah the blackout curtains really helped so that at any time of the day i can start streaming i can start shooting a video whatever i want and the lighting will stay the same Next up, we got that dual monitor setup. So as you guys already know, uh, for my PC build video, my main monitor is the AOC 144Hz 24-inch monitor that I got when I built my PC. Uh, I really didn't need a better monitor than that, so it will still remain as my main monitor. Uh, when I was streaming, I had to use my MacBook Pro as a secondary monitor, an old Mac Pro. I think it was 2016 version and it was kind of scuffed, not kind of, really scuffed. So I really wanted that second monitor that was the top of uh, the list of like my priorities when I wanted to upgrade my desk setup. So I opted to go for the MSI MP221 22.5 inch monitor. Uh, it is 1080p, just only 60 hertz though, but I don't really care about the hertz because I'm not gonna be using it as my main monitor. It's just gonna be something that is gonna stay vertical. Now to hold these two monitors up, I had bought the double gas lift monitor mount from Loop Alloy, which was insanely hard to assemble. And I had to ask both of my brothers to help out because it was just too hard. Or maybe I'm just one head. <laughs> now I decided to get that uh, different monitor mount or lift because I don't think the normal stand of the monitors were gonna be good, right? Uh, main reason, save space. Number two, looks pretty good, right? And number three, it's actually pretty cheap. Uh, the Loop Alloy Double Gas Lift Mount was only around 2,000 pesos, which was Puggles. Now, moving on to the desk, as you know, this is a custom-built desk. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down in the description down below. Uh, but yes, this is a custom-built desk. Uh, they have their pros and their cons, and a big con of this one is the paint job, which, uh, since it's custom-built, you can really just adjust that with uh, whoever you're manufacturing with. But mine was kind of bad. Uh, I'll show you the... Uh, unerasable stain that it has because of the paint job it's unfortunate so i was like okay instead of repainting it let's just cover it up so i decided to get a desk mat to just cover it up and i went with the md extended mouse pad in a topographic black design it was cheap and it looks pretty clean and pretty slick now on to the biggest buy i bought and built a custom keyboard. I've had the RK71 for a while now and honestly it was pretty good. I had had Otemu Brown switches, uh, they were tactile switches by the way, but I wanted to go for something cooler, something more thocky. I wanted the thocks and not the clickety clacks and I decided to go for a TM680 or a Tom680 and the switches are Echo Matcha Green. I'll have a video posted on that, so don't forget to give me a follow. I'll have that uh, new big video about just building my new keyboard. I actually had it built by my brother, PogChamp. Thanks to my brother, uh, because I cannot lube the switches. I, I, bleh, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. I just ordered it and he assembled it. But yes, uh, since you're here, I'll give you a little sneak peek on that one. 
I'll give you the sound test in three, two, one. So that was it guys, but yeah, damn, does this keyboard look clean? So if you want to watch more about it, I'll be releasing that video soon. Don't forget to give this channel a subscribe as well as, you know, ring that dingly dong bell. Thank you. Oh, and I also got a really cool custom uh, coiled aviator cable, which cost around just 800 pesos. So... It just makes my desk look that just teeny tiny bit cooler. So to go well with that white setup, what that white and black setup, I have the Rock Plan as my wireless white budget mouse. It is really, really good, really, really compact. I love the shape, I love the weight. Uh, for me, I think the shape really does it for me. Uh, there's an option to make it a honeycomb shell back but it just doesn't feel good. I just like that hard shell back. It's lightweight. It is around at 75-ish grams, which is really lightweight for a good budget mouse. Now for my headset, I have the Arctis 7 wireless headset that has the 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. Really, really good. Really, really comfortable. I've actually worn this for my 24 hour stream that I did back uh, two months ago for my 5,000 uh, follower um celebration on facebook so i wore it the whole 24 hours was good actually the battery lasted what i think i didn't even have to charge it i think it was full charge luckily but yeah that was really really good uh these sound great and they don't scream gamer right it's just sleek sleek huh? It's just slick, it's just clean, it's just black and white, works well with my uh, setup, right? So, uh, the only downside to this one is the mic sucks, man. It's, it sucks. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is the reason why I got this bad boy. The one you are listening to now, this is the Razer Siren Mini. This is a great budget mic, and it's just so small so good it's easy to put on a boom arm and yeah for 2500 pesos for 50 dollars this is magnificent the only uh con to this mic is that it does not have a mute or unmute button and it doesn't have that gain knob which i don't really need it was a good budget thing for me so not gonna lie really happy with it i still recommend this uh, to people who want to get into getting that external mic. Now, lastly, to that which I sit on my chair. And just a big disclaimer, I do not own this chair. This was just lent to me by my ninong or my uncle. Uh, this is a Herman Miller Aeron chair, which my butt really, really loves and will cherish and is thankful for and my back as well, my lower back because of the lumbar support that it has. It's just a really great uh, chair as well, it's mesh. So I, I recommend whenever you're getting a chair, never get a gaming chair, man, unless you're sponsored because that would be so cool. But never get a gaming chair because it's just not ergonomic. Just get an ergonomic chair, get that lumbar support, get that longevity, get that health, baby, and get the mesh because here in the Philippines, it's hot. So you want to have that electric fan blowing through your back, getting you and not really just uh, blowing air into that solid back of a uh, chair that gaming chair boo the racing game racing car game chair 
No hate though. No hate. Just I feel sorry for your backs. Unless they have good number support. Okay, please don't hate me, guys. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I just really uh, advocate for ergonomic chairs. It's better for you. It's better for you. It's better for your back. It's better for your life. It's better for your soul. It's better for your mind. It's better for your... So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. The links to all of the items will be down in the description down below. If you have any questions, don't forget to give a comment. And I'll try to answer it. Or you can reach me through my, any of my socials, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Facebook page, my LinkedIn, my... Okay, I don't have a LinkedIn, but yes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give a like if you liked it. If you don't, then that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay, wait. Maybe if you did like it, that would be really cool. Thank you. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. I'll see you in my next one. That'll be another keyboard video. So don't forget to subscribe. Peace out. Ah, that's weird. That's weird. That's weird. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get demonetized. I'm not even monetized yet. Bye.